Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you some tactical analysis over on the Bitcoin charts and look at possibly a huge next move for Bitcoin as Bitcoin's price has been consolidating now for a few weeks. So, with that being said, let's get right to the charts. And we will start over here on the daily candles for Bitcoin USDT on the Binance Exchange. And as you can see, over the last couple weeks, Bitcoin's really been consolidating between a range of around 29.7 to around a low of 28.7. And obviously that doesn't necessarily factor in all the wicks to the low or the high side. But for the most part, if we look at a range here between 29.7, we'll put it at the top of these two candles, the top of that wick. And then on the flip side down here around 28.7 would be at the bottom of this wick and around the bottom of this wick. The bottom line is Bitcoin's price has been consolidating for a few weeks now, which would typically indicate a breakout or a huge move in, unfortunately, either direction. And right now, unfortunately, based on the charts, all indications are for a move lower. As you see, we have a lower high here another lower high, and then a third lower high on Bitcoin's price, along with after three higher highs, we now have a lower high on Bitcoin's price. And if I drop in my drawing tools, you can see pretty much ever since Bitcoin broke out of this ascending triangle that we had been watching for a couple months actually, ever since Bitcoin's price broke below and closed below this lower trend line of this ascending triangle, Bitcoin's price has never made it back above and in fact set a lower low and now we have two more lower lows since breaking down. So based on the daily candle chart, the next move for Bitcoin could be towards the downside. With that in mind, if we want to look at a couple possible targets, we can drop in the Recon auto fib retracement indicator and right now Bitcoin broke through the first level of support we were watching last week and that was the 382 level. It had been a pretty good level of support. However, Bitcoin has now closed down below that level for the past few days and that level was right around 29,128. And in fact, 29,000 has always been a key level for Bitcoin to hold during this move. And it looks like the Bitcoin bulls have lost control of that line and thus are losing control of the battlefield. And Bitcoin's price is currently selling off with the next level of support probably coming in at around this 50% level on the Fibonacci retracement. And that would be right around 28,000. We have seen a wick down to around 28,5. And so that 28,5 to 28,000 level would be a key zone if the bulls want to step up a break down below 28,000 and more than likely Bitcoin's price would be headed right back down towards the 618 level which would put it at 27.5. After this 618 level or 27.5, if this ends up truly being a huge move towards the downside, the next level of support would come in more than likely around the 786 level which would be right around 26,000. Beyond that, then Bitcoin could be selling off all the way back down here towards 25,000. Now on the flip side, if somehow the bulls can regain control of this battlefield, get the price for starters up above and close above the 382 level, which would be around 29,128, the next level of resistance, and it's a pretty strong level of resistance, is going to come in around the 236 level on the Fibonacci retracement, and that's right around 30,000. After that, then obviously the next level of resistance comes in up here at around 31.5. But if the Bitcoin bulls can actually get above that, then Bitcoin has open air to around 35,000, which would be the negative 382 level on the Fibonacci retracement. And so that could be the potential huge move towards the bullish side. However, Right now, this Bitcoin chart is bearish, and there are multiple reasons why this looks bearish other than these lower lows and this most recent lower high, the breakdown out of the ascending triangle, 
In fact, if we drop in the Recon EMA ribbon, you can see that Bitcoin's price has dipped down below the ribbon, chopped within the ribbon, and now is once again breaking down below the ribbon. And if we look back and check our six, as far as the way the ribbon actually works, you can see when Bitcoin typically breaks down below the ribbon, it struggles to get back above the ribbon. However, when it does eventually break out above the ribbon, you can definitely see a bullish run. So that is something else to keep an eye on. Does Bitcoin's price continue to reject at the ribbon and eventually roll over and sell off like it did back here? We can see Bitcoin's price reject from the ribbon multiple times only to eventually roll over and sell off. Or does Bitcoin's price break back above the ribbon and then perhaps go on a nice bullish run up? Another moving average I like to watch is the 120 day moving average. That's the white line you see running through the chart. And almost exactly to the dollar, Bitcoin's price wicked right into this 120 day moving average and found support. So what we might be looking at today, perhaps the way Bitcoin is selling off, do the Bitcoin bulls step up at this 120 day moving average and hold the line? Or are the Bitcoin bears able to crush down below this moving average. And at the end of the day, if the bears crush down below that, we still have this 50% Fibonacci level for support. This zone right here between the 120 day moving average and the 50% Fibonacci will be a key battle zone for the bulls and the bears. Whoever ends up winning that battle more than likely will see that huge move. Now again, with that all being said, with this being bearish price action currently, I like to drop in the 200 day moving average, which now is this yellow line moving through the chart. And you can see that's coming in right around 27,000, which would make sense as a level of support if Bitcoin's price gets below 27,5, really the 27,5 to 27,000 zone would be an area of interest for support. And so the bulls really have their work cut out for them. The bears can just continue to pressure this price down. It's up to the bulls to step up and hold these lines of support, and more importantly, get it back above the EMA ribbons and back above 30,000, and then of course 31.5 or maybe 32,000. However, right now the bears seem to be in complete control of this battlefield. So I think that's about all the jaw jacking necessary for today's video. If anything major happens over here on the Bitcoin charts, I will do an updated video. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, Never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.